Hey, what's up guys? Next someone see here with um huh. Well, I don't know. Anyways, what's up guys? Next someone see here with um how to get custom firmware on your PSP device. As you see, I am recording my PSP perfectly. And I'll tell you how to do that in another tutorial. But for now, just how to get proceed. As you see, just to sh prove I even have it, you should already see I have it because the way my menu is loaded out. But, just in case you guys are not convinced, I don't see why, 6.60 Pro C2. So, that should work. Also, I'll put my PSP next to your, I mean to my mic so you can actually hear noises. Yeah, that should be nice. Okay, so, let's, uh, so what you gotta do is go get two things. You don't really need this yet. Okay, so what you need is Pro PSP firmware. You do need that, the update one, and and the fast recovery. So <clears throat> I will link these in the description. All you have to do is put these inside the game folder. That's it. Put them inside the game folder. You're done. Then you press this. You go to your update. Also. Awesome. I love that startup screen. Alright. It would take a minute for the thing to load up my game. Alright, there we go. There it is. Alright. Um, it doesn't actually show it. That's awkward. Here, let me uh, see if this helps. That does not help. Okay, so what you would see is just little text saying Pro C by Team Pro. Press X to launch CFW. Press triangle to uninstall CFW. Press L to reinstall CFW and R to exit. I'm going to exit because, well, I already have it. But what you do is you press X and all this stuff will run on your screen. It won't take long at all. It'll be super easy and won't take long. So, once you're done with that, you will be modified perfectly modified so then every time you restart you may need to use this which all it does is if you click it it opens my awesome thing is awesome here yeah. I love that thing so uh, <clears throat> what you do is wait till it starts and all it does is just restart with that and activates all the firmware options. So your firmware will be there. You go to your settings, system settings, all the way down to your system information. Boom. It will say 6.60 Pro C2 or whatever PSP version you have. I'll try to get every single one I can get. But so far, all I have is 6.60 Pro C2. But I can go get the other ones easy. Um, so, just to review, we also have all this cool stuff. We have a CPU clock X for the XMB, the CPU clock for game, your USB device, UMD ISO mode, which I recommend be Inferno or M33, because if you pick Sony, the Sony one, that is for Europe. This is for America. This, I'm not really sure what is what. I think it's just all. So, I would keep that. But, I mean, mostly one of these two. doesn't matter. I want to keep them in front of, though. ISO video mount. I don't have one. But, in case you ever do, you will. This shuts down your device. This will suspend it. Just like, say, if you just, like, click reset device, which I don't really know what that would be. I think that just, like, reboots it. Reset VSH is basically what we did with the uh, recovery, except... So here's the recovery menu. We have toggle USB, which I don't really know what that's going to go with. I want to enable that. I don't know what I just did. Hold on, guys.
think I just did something. Hold on. Well, this is embarrassing. Wait, can I unplug that? Yeah, it seems that broke keyed. Hold on guys, let me recover. I have to recover my firmware so I can come back. <sighs> failures are failures. We all have them. There we go. Let me plug it back in. There we go. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that. Uh don't press that. So yeah, back to recovery menu. Do not press the to toggle USB, that is just turning off USB mode completely. So don't do that. This, I have no idea what it does, it's just a recovery thingy, which I don't actually have. Configuration, we have ISO mode, which is what we covered before. Language, I keep auto tech. Fake region, you know. Recovery font, default. XMB USB device, memory stick. You don't want to be that, 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 that. I mean, you can have it if you want to, UMD disk is... I'll go memory stick. Hide Mac address. I keep with enabled. Skip game boot screen. Disable because my game boot screen is amazing. You guys seen that? Skip Sony logo at startup. Mm, nah, that that looks cool. Use custom update server. Enabled, I guess. Protect flash and USB mount. Sure. Use HTML viewer custom save location. Sure. Use slim color on PSP 1000. Might as well. Use version text in SE plugins. Disabled, not really. Uh, use USB version in SE plugins. Nope. Use the pick 0, pick 1 in game menu. Nah. Prevent hibernation deletion. PSP Go only. I do not have a PSP Go. I have a PSP 3000. But if you have PSP Go, I would enable this. Uh, charge battery when USB is plugged in. Why not? That seems cool. Advanced. XMB. Okay, so XMB plug in. You want that? Yes. Yes. And yes. If you don't have these two, you can't do anything really. Like, game. You can't really record or anything like that, like I'm doing right here. You cannot use XMB, you have to make sure the all these are enabled. So, no DRM engine, I guess. Memory stick speed up. Mm, I, I'd keep it in none. Hide C FW files from game? Yes, you might want to do that. Block analog input in game. No, that means you can't use your analog stick at all. Allow non-Latin ISO file name. Yes, otherwise you're going to get a weird name that you can't even read. Old plugin support for the PSP Go. Enable that because that is good. Ah, oh, enabled. That's good. Don't know about that. Don't know about that. Don't know about that. Nah. Nope. Uh, ch -ch 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 CPU speed. Yeah, I guess I'd keep that at fault. That that wouldn't really be good if you messed with that. Plugins. This is what I'm doing. What I'm doing right now, and I'm recording with this. Also this, but this stuff's just random. Registry hacks. I don't really know what any of these do, so I just wouldn't press anything. I think this just uh, swaps the. 0 and X or O and X and does a lot of stuff weird. Shuts down the device, suspends, reset, da, da, da. we did that before. Okay, so once you're done, you no longer have to have signed eboots or anything like that, and you can get these cool plugins or whatever you want. So, links in the description for all this stuff. And yeah, hope that helped. See you guys later.